Yo, everybody. Sorry. Took me a minute there. Um, so we'll talk logistics, of course, at the beginning as usual. So lab four, right? The one that we postponed. So that's actually happening tomorrow. Um, so you know, just as we were last time. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to do lab five, which is an active filter lab. So what we're going to talk about today uh, is how we can build filters out of components, right? Um, and what we're going to do on Wednesday is build a filter which involves an op amp. And you guys are going to play around with its properties. Uh, that'll be up really soon. It's not quite, I mean, basically, we, it's a prototype lab that's been sort of semi-developed. So we're going to want you guys' feedback. So it's not a fully developed lab. But unlike the other labs, I actually had access to the document so I can edit it and stuff a little bit. So I did a little bit of that. Uh, I've written a very short pre-lab. So I'm sorry. The pre-lab for this one's a little short. So I hope that's not too much of a bummer. Um, but yeah, what I want is for you guys to give us uh, your feedback. So I set up this Google Doc, and I just realized, well, I was on the way here. The email didn't actually go out yet, but it's in my like unsent messages box. Uh, so I'm, I basically have a, a Google Doc set up, which if you want to give any feedback about the class in general, but especially the labs, because that's kind of the thing that I can pass on to the next people, I'd like you guys to put that in, uh, leave your feedback there, and especially on this particular lab. So what you're going to do basically in this lab is you're going to take um, some audio source or signal source, right? So whatever it is, you know, you got an eighth inch jack. It's going to go into your circuit, and then from there, uh, you're going to have an LED, which is supposed to blink whenever uh, bass comes through, right? OK, so that's the goal. Um, and so your circuit basically here is going to have a bunch of stuff that's going to uh, basically rem only extract, or basically show only the low part of the signal that you're putting in. And then you'll do some stuff so that you get a nice blinking uh, signal. And so on Wednesday, you should bring some kind of audio device if you have one available. If not, you can use the signal generator. And you can just show that you can do it with uh, you know, the square wave or whatever, like the frequency generator. So that's less cool. But one of the things I like about this is it will have cables, hopefully, almost certainly, where you can actually just plug in a pair of headphones in the middle of it, and you can hear your uh, filtered signal. So you can kind of hear only the low side through your headphones. Um, yeah. So bring a music thing if you got it on a Wednesday, and it'll make the lab cooler. Yes? Lab 4 is not optional. That's not, sorry. Yeah. So basically, here's what we got as far as labs go. Um, so. The, sorry, the optional one, right, is just the booster lab. So everything on the site, as far as I know, is right. It's called Voltage Booster, right? That's our optional lab, yeah. Um, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, homework five, due tomorrow at two. Uh, top of the document, it said five, because I didn't cop change that number on there, although the numbers are right. So I guess technically someone in here, someone in this class is not here right now, and they're going to turn in at five, and I can't penalize them. But so I guess unofficially the homework's due at five, but don't skip lab to do the homework. It's not very long. Like start it now. Um, yeah. So you know, let's do it too. But if it shows up at five. I can't. You know, because I had that document error. That's uh, the case. Homework six. I'm putting out right now. Uh, it'll be due at Friday at five. So we're gonna have a midterm next Wednesday, uh, which is gonna cover uh, these homeworks, right? The ones we've just done, uh, and some emphasis on these labs. Um, but you know, it'd be fairly light. So you know, for example, you should know what a Schmidt trigger is. Okay, thing. Um, and uh, we're going to reuse, of course, the concepts because everything we've done so far in this class is always building, right? So homework one, two, three stuff will be there, right? Um, so yeah, and you know, it's the summer, so it seems really crazy. Like this, com I like the three midterm drop one thing, but in the summer, it's hard to physically do this, right? So technically, there's like if you you know do the, like the lecture equivalence thing and like how many homeworks, it makes sense, but it just seems like on a tight scale. And you know, of course, there's not a whole lot of a huge amount of new stuff, just as there wasn't really a whole lot of stuff on the first midterm. So yeah, uh, so just be aware. Yes, uh, Cooper, he's got them pretty much done. He just said it took a lot longer to get uh, nice detailed solutions than he expected because he's making them nice. So yeah. They'll hopefully be up soon, because they can't grade until they're done, too, right? <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, any of those. Just anything with an eighth inch out, we have the cables. Uh, so all we have, basically, is an eighth inch cable, and then we just stripped them, right? So, yeah. Yep. Uh, so anything with, uh, you know, 
one eighth inch jack is what you want. Okay, other things, no lunch today, but what I'm gonna do instead is since we have this homework due in short order, I'm gonna have these pseudo office hours between 2.30 and 4 or so. I might leave a little later, a little earlier, depending on if anybody's there. Um, and if you guys have any midterm regrade requests, um, and don't necessarily trust us. I mean, we spent a long time trying to carefully grade, but you know, mistakes happen, so don't be shy. Uh, if you have a writ midterm regrade request, just give me a you know, written explanation of what's up along with your midterm today. If you don't have it now, you can bring it by during that 240 time. Okay, so let's do some eye clicker stuff. Uh, inspired by an email one of you guys sent me. Okay, so what we have on this question is I want to know what would happen if you, so this is kind of like that question I asked in the midterm where I said, what happens if you connect up two car batteries, right? Some of you guys wanted to say the universe would explode, but the idea was there are real car batteries in the world, and our model's kind of, you know, we want to know what happens with real things in the real world, right? So what I want to know is, suppose you have a capacitor in the lab with one nanofarad of capacitance, and you, have a, you build some kind of measuring circuit. Whatever, all your stuff in the whole world has a resistance of maybe an ohmish, right? What I want to know is if you go through and you make a table where you basically you know, put in a test voltage of zero and you measure the current, right? And you repeat this, so minus one, zero, one, and so forth. What currents do you measure? And if you plot them, uh, what do you get? And so I'm going to start up the eye clicker thing. Hopefully. Oh, wait. I will not show the answer yet. You know I love sneaky questions. Let's think about it a little. So I'll give you, uh, you know, 50 seconds or so, or you know, a minute. So you guys can talk, yeah. How long are you measuring the Um, you basically hook up the thing, and then you look on a multimeter, and you get a number, right? So I claim you'll get a number. This is one you gotta think carefully about, right? Yeah. So you guys can talk. It's cool. So those of you guys who are indecisive, you know, okay, you guys think of. All right, you guys have a theory. Okay, so I'll let you talk it over a little more in a sec, because we're going to go on to another similar question. Ready? Okay, anybody else want to toss in a last minute guess? All right. Okay, so there's a very similar question right here now. So what's that? No time. All it is, you're making tables. So now we have the same problem, right? But you have now an inductor with a tiny inductance. I want you to tell me what you get here. So it's a very similar problem. <laughs> 